Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Badger.com, here to bring you another course review, and today we're talking about the Rock Lake Rifle Range Two-Day Advanced Precision Rifle Clinic. Funny story, even though advanced is in the course description, I mistakenly signed up thinking it was their introductory two-day precision rifle clinic. Fortunately, both instructors, Scott from Sawtooth Rifles, as well as Doug, one of the owners of Rock Lake Rifle Range, incredibly patient, wonderful instructors, and got me right into it. Hey guys, Doug Glorfield here. I'm one of the owners of Rock Lake Rifle Range. We're located 30 minutes outside of Cheney, Washington. Hey shooters, Scott Satterley here from Sawtooth Rifles. We're out at Rock Lake Rifle Range with Doug Glorfield and we're here to talk about our two-day advanced precision rifle course. What you can expect from uh, our advanced precision rifle course is a pretty dynamic environment. Um, it's outcome-based, so when it comes down to specific tasks that I want to cover, the fast, you know, if we can get through a topic quickly, we get through it and we move on. It's not, I don't just stick to a, a specific script. I stick to a task list and as soon as we're done, as soon as we accomplish those tasks, we move on. Okay, one of the unique things about our courses here is that we're outcome based and they're adaptive in nature. So all the staff on Sawtooth Rifles, myself, um, Doug, Matt, everybody on staff, we're active competitors and hunters. Um, and we were actively going to uh, matches and trade shows and one of the things about that is that the technology is advancing so quickly in this sport that you have to stay in order you have to compete and hunt in order to stay relevant and as far as the outcome goes when when my goal in the course is to have my shooters go out and they're able to accomplish a task by themselves so we we teach one we see one we do one and then we do one ourselves and that's that's kind of how the flow of the courses go. Ultimately, um, through our courses, what we want to try to build is capability and capacity and competence within our shooters so that they can go out and execute uh, a difficult shot on game animal or they can negotiate their way through a course of fire in a match. Um, and the, the way we do that is we tie it together at the end, we give you all the skills and the tools to be able to accomplish tasks, and then what we do is I put you on the clock, put a little stress on you, we have a little mini match at the end, and that's for the competition course. And for the uh, hunter's course, what we do is we have a steel safari where we put our observation, uses, our observation skills to use, and we basically solve the problem from finding the animal to engaging it. Okay, what we've done with Sawtooth Rifles, we've created a pyramid of training. It all starts right here at Doug's place, Rock Lake Rifle Range. He's got 150 plus pieces of steel out to 1,720 yards. And we can, we can work from the basics all the way to the advanced here. Um, our next facility is an extended range, which is out at Cute Creek Ranch in uh, Wyoming. And uh, that's an extended range course. Our minimum shot distance there is 600 yards. Our average shot length is about 1,100 yards. The next uh, facility we have is Hat Creek, and it's in Pollock, Idaho, in Hell's Canyon. Um, that's our most advanced course, just because the terrain is so severe and so steep that you know it's 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 all about angles out there. And then we have another facility we're working on down in Dillon, Montana, and this is going to be more of kind of a cast and blast. There's four trout streams out there. It's a little bit longer course. It's going to be a little bit more uh, smaller courses. Um, but they have a little bit of everything out there. They've got some high angles, they've got some big distance, but we can also do basic stuff out there. Schedule training with us, give us a call or send us an email. Sawtooth Rifles. Overall, really impressed with both the course as well as the instructors. Again, as I mentioned in the beginning, came into it thinking it was an intro course. Totally green. I'd actually never shot that rifle, optic, any of that stuff prior to stepping foot on the course. Bad on me? Maybe. If it was an intro course, it would have been fine. Fortunately, I was still fine because of one, those guys' patience as well as their knowledge. Obviously, I have a base in shooting fundamentals, all of those things, to include just concepts, principles, trajectory, muzzle velocity, everything like that. And they worked with me, rapidly got me up to speed. Additionally, I happen to have lucked out in that it was a really small course. So, we had so much time, one, they were able to work with me, but two, we were able to cover a huge amount of knowledge in those two days. Scott, amazing instructor, incredibly passionate, very patient, fortunately, and pretty much a walking ballistics calculator. I'd break a shot and be like, what are you shooting? 308, 175 grand? Go ahead, dial up 0.4 mils. Boom, right on target. 
amazing. One of the coolest things for me though was him walking me through actually correcting my optic. What do I mean by that? Went through, shot the first day. Second day came out, first thing we did was chronograph. I was shooting in some LR-118. Chronograph the rifle and he's like, okay, we're gonna put this in your ballistics calculator. I need you to go ahead, shoot these different distances out here, like six something, eight something, 1100. He's like, just use whatever's on the ballistics calculator. Go ahead and make whatever corrections you need and notate the corrections you need to get on target. Roger that. Went through, shot a number of rounds, got the dope I needed. Came back, I was like, all right, here's what I got. He said, okay. We sat down, we did some math, basically came up with the correction factor for the optic, which was 0.95. What does that mean? Basically, that US optic, 95% accurate. So, went into the ballistics calculator, which is perfect because it's binary, ones and zeros, it's math, like it, it doesn't go wrong, but we're dealing with something mechanical. and. Honestly, the ability to make a turn at a tenth of a mil increment and have it actually be a tenth of a mil through that entire scale, pretty hard. And this US optics was off. So we added the correction in there. Where did that blow my mind? Well, it blew my mind when we went out to, I believe it was 1275. Life-size silhouette of an elk out there. Cranked my dope on there. Keep in mind, you're shooting at 100 yards, 300 yards. If your optics off a little bit, like if there's a correction factor in there, it won't really matter. Once you get to distance though, like it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the spread, right? So got up there, shooting from this tower, cranked dope on there, settled in, broke the shot. Right off the face of this elk, boom. Elevation was perfect. Gave me a wind call. Hold on its tail. Roger that. Broke a shot. In the middle of this, there's a big, I don't know, like 12 inch by 12 inch vital section. Bam! Nailed it. Was it luck? Racked another round in there. Again, held that same hold. Broke my shot. Straight into the vitals. Obviously, I was doing my part, but what struck me was basically the magic of putting that correction factor into the ballistic app. Again, one small facet of the class blew my mind. I really appreciated having Doug as one of the instructors as well. Really knowledgeable, really pragmatic. Didn't come from the military or anything like that. Grew up shooting, super passionate about it, competitive with PRS, and really talented. And being able to have that pragmatic approach of, hey, here's a way that I go ahead and get into a shooting position if I'm off some sort of barricade like this and just really functional, practical input. On top of that, obviously very talented and knows his stuff. Great instructor to have out there. If you get the opportunity to train with those guys out there, I would jump on it. Really knowledgeable guys, great instructors, great facility, and learn tons. All kinds of positional shooting, whether you're going to apply it to PRS or if you're out hunting, being able to get in that solid position, make that one shot count, all kinds of different knowledge you're gonna end up touching on. Again, for me, that correction factor in the optic, that was huge for me, as well as just kind of all these different steps to basically true your rifle to your ammo to your ballistics calculator. How to go about doing that so that you're getting true dope from that calculator so that you can make those good shots first time through. Overall, great class. Hopefully I'll have the opportunity to go train with them again, maybe in one of their other offerings. If you enjoy this content and what I do create, please think about supporting it either through Patreon or over at kitbadger.com forward slash shop. You can pick up some stuff there. Very much appreciate it. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Share will, move it or lose it.